Hey, this is D from MagicGamePlan.com. Check out MagicGamePlan.com for Magic the Gathering strategy. In this video, I played against Mono Blue Delver Illusions. I played Value Bant Pod. Uh, this was from a standard daily event. We were both 2 and 1 heading into round 4, so whoever won this got 6 packs. Whoever lost got nothing. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link below to see the deck list. So here I'm on the draw. He keeps his opening seven, and I have to mull this. Definitely one lander. It's not a green. I can't even play Birds of Paradise because it's a plains. And here, I decide to keep this hand because this deck doesn't really mulligan well to to five because it's three colors and it has a lot of uh, expensive spells. So this one's not really that good, but. Um, going to 5 is probably going to be worse. He starts off with Phantasmal Bear and Getaxian Probe. Yep, I've got nothing. And then he's got a pretty f he's got a really good start. Double Bear and then the Lord. Here I mess up. I finally get mana enough mana to do something and um should have played oblivion ring his lord um because blade splicer is vul vul vulnerable to like gut shot and then vapor snag whereas he can't deal with oblivion ring yeah he has see he has vapor snag and i've just and then he has a phantasma image to get the second lord so he swings with two four fours. I chump block, and then uh, my only play is Oblivion Ring. But the only obli the only guy I can uh, O ring is his lore, his two two lord, and then he'll attack with the these three guys, and I'm dead. So I concede. For illusions, this is the way I've been sideboarding. Again, my opener is not very good. Six lands and solemn is way too slow. And here I had a tough decision. Um, again, this deck doesn't mulligan very well to five, and so I had to take a risk. Um, I decided to take a risk because I've got two birds of paradise. Um, and if I draw a land, I can play Verdant Emissary, which is pretty solid. So I kept. He has Gut Shot, though. But I top deck the land, so we've got Emissary on the board. And. Swing for two. And can't do anything else but play Birds. He's got Flash Freeze. But I'm continuing to beat down with Verdant Emissary and I top decked another one. This time, he does not have the uh, a counter, but he does have a Phantasmal Image to copy one of my emissaries. Here, I play Solemn Simulacrum, get a planes so I can cast O Ring, and swing. We both get lands. He plays Stitch Drake, Phantasmal Bear, but that's fine. I have O-Ring. All right, here's a tricky play. Um, I have Gavany Township, so I'm not. I let's see, what did I do here? Yeah, I elected not to attack because. Let's go back. Yeah. I can make Solemn Simulacrum a 3-3 with Gavany Township next turn. Um, and I don't want to trade with a Viridian Emissary. Because I can make him bigger too with Township. Um, I can make him a 4-3 in two turns. So I just pass the turn. He has Lord of Atlantis. 
Okay, here was a tricky play. He has one card left, which could be a uh, flash freeze. That's the biggest thing I'm worried about. Um, because I definitely want to resolve birthing pot, or he could have like a dissipate. So what I decided to do was to attack. Um, because I'm winning the race right now. Plus I've got township, and see if I can uh, get him to play his one card. Um, see. Because if he plays that one card, then I know it's not a counter spell. Sure enough, he has he dismembers Verdant emissary, so I know that birthing pod's gonna resolve. So sacrifice simulacrum and. Geist honored monk is the is the card to fetch here instead of acidic slime because I don't care about moorland haunt he doesn't have any creatures in his graveyard plus geist honored monk and the spirit tokens are great with uh, Gavany Township he top decks uh, phantasmal image so he can copy geist honored monk here he swings with a 3-3 three, three. Uh, I have life points to trade with, so I don't block. Plus, I can make my Geist bigger with Township. And I've got Birthing Pod to turn Geist Honored Monk into a Titan. This is a messed up here. Um, I got Frost Titan, but I should have just gotten uh, Sun Titan instead and then brought back Verdant Emissary because Frost Titan uh, I can't tap really anything that good whereas if I get Verdant Emissary at least I can use Gavany Township to make it bigger and I get an extra creature in the deal and I can turn the Verdant Emissary uh, into something else with Pod Okay, so he attacks with everyone other than his tapped guy, and I'm at 14 life, so I can afford to take um, take damage from the Geist and Phantasmal Bear. Here, I don't block with Frost Titan, because I'm playing around Dismember. And, yeah, I can block Spirit Token on spirit token and win the win the win the battle because of Gavany Township. And then Yeah, the game pretty much over because I have Elish Norn and he's at six life, swing for eight. Alright, on to game three. He keeps his opener and I have a so so hand, but it's got all three colors and I've got an early drop. So I'm keeping, and has my best card, Birthing Pod. His first look at Del for Delver misses, which is good for me. Then he plays Phantasma Image copying Delver. He accidentally shows a Snapcaster Mage, so... It's good to know. So here I cast O-Ring and fortunately it resolves. Now here I want to target this Delver of Secrets, not the copy, because the copy will die. Phantasmal Image will go to the graveyard and then he can play Stitch Drake and I don't really have a good answer for a 3-4 flyer. Um, so definitely want to hit the original Delver of Secrets. He misses again with Delver. And here I'm going to try Birthing Pod, but he has Flash Freeze. Here, this is a f this is funny right here. You can't see it, but he showed Dismember on his draw step. But Delver didn't flip. So I was confused. I was like, we were both chatting and we're both saying, 
Wow, why didn't Delver confuse? Why didn't Delver flip? Is this a bug? Anyways, he snap attacked because he thought Delver flipped, and I thought it was a bug, and maybe Delver just didn't flip for some weird reason, but it could flip next turn. I don't know. I was not thinking clearly. Anyway, so I snap block. He doesn't want to lose his Delver, so he snapped his members. Um, so that's pretty much three mistakes in a row right there. What I should have done is uh, taken a step back and asked myself, why didn't Delver flip? And then realize, okay, this is a copy of Delver of Secrets. And so um, how does it flip? Can, can copies flip? because it's not a transform card so anyways while I was playing the game I looked it up on the internet the ruling and only transform cards can flip this is a phantasmal image so it's not a transform card so it can't flip that's true it's just a 1-1 one, one, and so I wouldn't have blocked um, but fortunately he dismembered for me so um, he got to keep a 1-1 one, one. anyways here I yeah, this was all so com this was all like confusing both of us and I got distracted. I got the wrong land. I should have gotten a planes to play Sun Titan, but I got I think I got like a forest instead. Yeah. So, bad plays all around. Swings for one. Here I play slime on Moorland Haunt. Go to 15, Sun Titan, get Emissary. O ring, his Snapcaster Mage, swing. Here I'm playing around Dismember again. That's why I didn't swing with Sun Titan. I have Gavany Township, which is just the best land, I believe, for Bant Pod. I played two copies, um, and I'm just I can just use Gavany Township to make Sun Titan big enough to uh, live through Dismember and swing with both guys, and he scoops.